Hello and welcome back to The Winter King. So, I went and did some looking up of how we might go about, um, well, how we might go about restoring the old gods, because obviously we have tolerance, so we can't do that right now, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, we could also, like, focus, focusing on theology isn't the problem, it's the fact that we're tolerant. Um, we could do, we could maybe do it if we got, if we just, you know, remove the trait of tolerance. But we're not going to do that because that's just a little bit, it, it, yeah, it's, it's not exciting. So what we're going to do is our son is going to take take over. We're going to have to get his marshal up a little bit. He got wounded? Ah, that's, that lowered his marshal by two and his health. I hope he survives. He's not that old. But yeah, our son's going to be the one who does this. And I was trying to figure out how do we get the 13 treasures of Britain, right? Because in theory, we already have one. We have uh, Excalibur. But I couldn't find any others. I was looking for lists. But it says that we need to take an ambition. Now I assume the ambition is only valid if this is valid. So I assume once we turn into Primus, we can do that. So I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to continue expanding, making it, and just making it so that Primus is in an all right spot to take over when he can. Now his Marshall's a little bit lower, which isn't great. Um, I think he needs 14 in all stats to keep uh, the t like his title, which like to keep our title, which is a little bit. He might get it. He is veteran, which is nice. So it gives him plus one marshal. He's got minus two right now. Dutiful diplomat lowers it. Yeah, I think we just keep him in our um, in our commander list. Do we have our councilman organizing the army? Yeah. What we could do is we could take out all while we're not at war. We could take out all commanders who aren't Primus. But we're gonna be at war a lot anyway. Yeah. Maybe if we ever get to a point where we're not at war, we'll take out all commanders who aren't Primus and try and just push him up there. But we'll see. Anyway, we should have some people to declare war on. So we have these guys, who I think we can declare on. Yeah, we can do conquests. Uh, these guys, do we have a truce? No truce. These guys... Truce. Okay. You. No truce. So we can do three wars there. You. No truce. Four wars. Five wars. Five wars. Five wars. So we can do five wars down here. Is there anyone else we can clear on? We can clear on these guys. Make tributary. Not too interested over here. Make tributary. Make tributary. Make tributary. Yeah, I kind of want take over all land, but make tributary sounds fine. Hey. Get, get, get. Get your raiders off my land. Right. Um, so, let's declare all of our wars. You, I wish to declare war on... I guess that bit. That's fine. You, I'd like your capital. Thank you very much. You, I'd like... Um, the only... Well, we have a truce with you. You, I'd like your only bit of land you have left. You... I know it's saying that other people will join in the war because of like allies and things, but I don't care because we're, we're declaring on everyone anyway. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, yeah, Theodfer, you, we can't declare war on, we can't declare war on you. Right. Let's um, quickly split up the realm. Uh, we also have one too many vassals, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Um, then we just want to, you know, I guess we'll just raise our troops like this. We actually don't have our full levy. Oops. Didn't even check. I was just like, no, we must have enough men. We should be fine. Anyway, because we're so far ahead of everyone else. Just check here. I just wanted to get control of everybody. Maybe if we go in closer, we can use shift. Yeah, there we go. So they're all going to the same province. Maybe here is a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. It crops. Uh, oh, it's awesome. That's what that one is. Cedric has a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make people notice what a great ruler I am. Sure, we have a lot of money. We'll spend it. Uh, do we want to upgrade our capital? Do we have anything we can? We can upgrade our wooden wall. You know what? Let's just upgrade it. We'll probably need it for something eventually. Um, we captured this chief. Oh, that's over here in this one. Uh, okay. I'd like a ransom, please. No, oh, we could execute him. How much money does he have? Negative 17. You know what? Get executed. That's fine. We, he died thrashing in the drowning pit. Oh, alright. Someone's trying to kill my son. We have a plot about it. We don't know anything, but we 
No, it's probably true because we're not paranoid. Do we have the best spy master available? We do, I think. Yeah, we have the only spy master available. So, yeah, he seems to be the best. Okay, well, hopefully our spy master will stop, like, anyone trying to kill our son. We just need to, f you know, find out about the plot. Uh, we intend Primus into hiding. I don't really want to do that. Because I don't think he can get Marshall that way. So we're going to have to leave him out. If he had 14 Marshall, I'd send him into hiding in a heartbeat. But he doesn't, so we're not going to. Right. It does look... Oh, Marek's improved significantly. Oh, that's not really what I'm after, but okay, that's good. Um, what I was thinking is it might be start be the time to start getting people in who are claimants like kingdoms. And then we can start pressing their claims on kingdoms. I think that might be our next way that we expand. Okay. I'm going to head down here, defeat the army. I'm going to head up here and defeat that army. There we go. Right. Um, I'm going to head down here and defeat that army. I'm going to head in and defeat the other army. After what seems like forever, the wound from your maiming has completely healed, so we're no longer severely injured. So we're now just scarred. That's nice. New commanders needed. Not too worried about it, to be honest with you. Um, righteous imprisonment, not worried about it. Well, who, what's he trying to do? Kill, he's trying to kill Primus. No, that's, that's severely not allowed. Um, today my child comes of age. He will join the clan today as the druids present him to the gods. Use this opportunity to plan his future. Uh, druid. Definitely. We want, if we need backup children, we need his stats to be great. Um, who was trying to kill Primus? We know somebody was trying to kill him. Who was trying to kill Primus? We completely lost the person who was trying to kill Primus. I'm very annoyed about that. Oh, what we could do is we could do this a couple times. There we go. This guy was trying to kill Primus. I have a reason to imprison him, right? No. We could just try and assassinate him. 0% chance of being discovered. Alright. I like the old assassination system. It's interactive and fun. There we go. That will be him got. Also, somebody killed our son. It was pointed out we didn't kill him. Oh, never mind. Turns out we did kill him. He died in our dungeons. So we just kept him there forever. You know, that's probably the better, you know, that's even better than like whatever we could have thought up from. We just left him in our dungeons to die. Okay. Uh, wrong type of holding. Yeah, you are right. That is the wrong type of holding, but we're going to hold on to it ourselves just for a little bit. Right, assault that down. 100%. Offer feast for enforced demands. Nice. We're going to hold on to that again f just for a little bit. And up here, assault down. 100% and capture the leader. So, you know, offer peace and force demands. That lands ours now. Nice. Uh, we can usurp the Eldom of the Wield, which de jure is this. Or the Eldom of the Wield. It's in the kingdom uh, here, which we can't usurp. Okay, um, how, how are the vassals looking along here? Yeah, we only have one. That's really not going to do. Okay, we'll head up this way. Earldom of Essex has been formed. Okay, cool. From this day on, several provinces at the mouth of the Thames, including the city of uh, Camul Dumnum, will once again belong de jure to their ancient high lordships and kingdoms. Nice. Uh, a shrine has been built and people are happy. Okay, we'll assault that a couple times, then we'll go beat up his army. Or, not his army. I, I, I was just looking there, I couldn't tell whether that was the boy or the girl. But it was the boy. Uh, now nah, we're not going to accept your offer, we're going to make our own offer. There we are. We have taken that land. Head over here. Salt it down. Salt it down. It's winter. 99% war score, cannot win without a major battle. Yep. Wait, is that his men up there? Uh, no, I don't think he has any men. That's probably why we couldn't win without a major battle, but we can win if we take all of the land. There we go. Let's head up here. And we're... Wait, who are you? Who am I still at war with? I'm not at war with anyone. Yeah, you're just random people in my lands. Yeah, here. Yeah. They're gone now. We can dismiss our troops. Yeah, that was it. That's the end of the war. Nice and easy, really. Okay, um, I'm just looking for places that have, like, 
temples and things we can give away. Because that seems like a good idea. Uh, give that one away. Uh, this one doesn't have anything. Uh, we already did that one. Already did that one. This one. We already did that one. Okay, so the rest of it is just the top level holdings. Uh, what we should probably do is just give these directly to, like, kings and things. So, the Belgate, we can give you the, um... One that's in his land. Or what I want to be his lands. Yeah. We'll give him everything down here, actually. That's probably our best way, opposed to like, trying to give it away and then put under vassals. This will probably be the best overall way to deal with this problem. Okay. This is part of... Wait, it still has a little, like, crown on it. Like, this is somebody's capital, but it's quite clearly not. Um... You want to give that to this guy, I think. Yeah, we'll give that to our marshal. Grant him some more land. Yeah, we'll grant him three bits of land. Definitely not going to be a problem for Primus, this marshal. Not at all. Uh, There we go. That's, that's a lot better. Yeah. Okay. We're 24 vassals. We got another vassal somewhere. <laughs> what do we need to get even more? Our diplomacy bonus gives us 10. So our 27 diplomacy gives us 10. Our, our, luckily, Primus has 27 diplomacy as well, to be fair. To be fair to him, he has 27. Do we have anybody else who's, like, independent underneath us? But you're a king with one title, aren't you? You're a king with one title. You should not exist. I'd prefer just to get rid of it, to be honest. Just like, just get rid of him and his title. Um, what's his succession law? Feudal elective. Who's his heir? His heir is this guy. Hmm. I'd prefer for you not to have your land. To be honest. Yeah. Okay, so he's one on our list. Hmm. Nobody else, really. Just him. We kind of want to merge some kingdoms together, I think. We could... Well, can we put anybody underneath anybody right now? So if I wanted to transfer vassals here... Do I have anybody I can transfer who would matter? I have this guy. Who is that guy? So it's the chief of... I assumed he'd be over here somewhere. No. Okay. Uh, oh, could I find him like this? No, because I didn't actually click on his face. That was the whole problem. Uh, the whole time, right. Now I want to go to his... Hmm. I wanted to go to Chief Lorkin's page, but that wasn't working. Let's go Vassals, let's go rank low, and then have a look. There we go, Lorkin. What are you doing independent from Gwynedd? Come on. There we go. He might have been part of the other one. I don't really care. Alright, there we go. So that's him out of the way. So that's us down to 24. He probably won a, like, rebellion or something. And thought, hey, I can be independent. Mm. High Lord of something? Yeah, it seems like there's people in uh, Donavaria who are the problem. We could always give our son a kingdom. We could give him the kingdom underneath ourselves. Because we could always grant him... Well, we can't grant him our kingdom. I guess that's part of our system. Yeah, I think we tried that per, uh, before. So we can assert this earldom from these people and give it to the Belgae. Don't really see a great reason to. Still have a commander slot open. Prime us into hiding. Over a va uh, We're so close to getting, being under our vassal limit. It's like... It's infuriating. What is underneath... Uh, Dumnonia. This land. Okay. We already have some of it split out from underneath. Uh, okay. De Jure Kingdoms? Almost everybody's a king. Like, everybody is a king. There's nobody who isn't a king underneath here. We just need like a, you know, hey, um, you're not really a king thing going on here. Um, I need something. I need something. Maybe what we do is we don't stop known plots. 
and we just see if we can get if we see if we can get any that we can push people out of. Yeah, okay. I don't really care about arranged marriages either. See, so you're trying to kill that guy. Wait, you're not my vassal. I don't care. Yeah, we just basically have to wait for a good opportunity on this one. Um, Edern could use some guidance. He definitely could. Let's get... We could go patient and give him plus one to a lot of stats. Yeah, we'll lose stats to give him stats. Seems like the best plan for us there. Okay. Right. Continue going. <sighs> it's just it's just a matter of trying to get things right. Oh, Primus has gained Marshall. Look at that. He's a trickster. He's got 16. He is well on his way to being a good commander. Spring. Fantastic. Um, county of something. Frankish rulers of Western Gaul have created the county of some lands. Okay, I guess that means they've been conquering more. Not really a problem for us. We should maybe deal with them at some point. Yeah. Still trying to figure out how to deal with whatever this mess is up here. I have no idea how we how we're going to get all of our vassals sorted without revoking something. It does seem like this one is like prime target for revoke. Is there something we can do to like plot against him? We can demand he surrenders to the Kanata revolt war. For Kanata's revolt war claim. Oh no, it's because Ah. Ah, okay, he's that guy. Oh, in which case you can keep your land. I don't worry I'm not worried about that. Um, whose claim is he trying, is, is he, does he have against him? Out of curiosity. He is this guy's claim for, whose claim on the land? Um, so it is Chief Khan's claim. Do you have a Chief Khan underneath you? You do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not much we can do about that, really. Oh, I'm going to chase the, uh, like the raiders away as well. Yeah. Hmm. It's not a lot we can do. Wait, are you? Oh, you're not even event spawn troops. You're just some random troops who didn't make it to the fighting. There's no land that we can just take, I don't think, here. What what, what reason do we have to declare war on this guy? We don't have a reason. It's just gold for some reason. Alright. Um we have a lot of conquests we could do. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what we want to actually do. My friend's uh, friend is also my friend. I'm also trying to live by, and sometimes that is an easy truth. A friend of a friend was introduced, and I immediately felt a kind of connection with this stranger. I hope we'll be friends. Yeah. All, the only thing I'm thinking of over here, by the way, with the, with the High King and all this stuff, is that for over our vassal limit, it means that when we die, a vassal could break free. It's actually not that big a deal. As I think we might get a claim on it. Problem is, if we're too strong, then multiple vassals will break free. Hmm. How do we, like? It's it is a bit of how do we fix this? Because it's all a matter of where we put people. Like, what well, we might. Hmm. We almost want to get more land for ourselves. I, I didn't mean to open the console there. It's almost like we want to get more land for ourselves just so we can, uh, like, take it away so we can do some revoking. We are allowed to revoke, aren't we? Um, wait, can we, can we change the primogenitor? I forgot to actually check. Reign for 10 years. Has not previously changed the succession law. We previously changed it. I didn't remember previously changing it, but that's fine. Um, where is revoke titles? Yeah, so it is allowed. Okay. So, actually, could we range, could we move that to religious? In a year. In a year, we can get rid of religious. Well, that seems like a top uh, priority. Young Edern has finished his education in stewardship. Nice. He's a brilliant steward. Well, that's great. He has the stats to definitely be a contender for, you know, next in line, right? He's got to push his way up this list at some point. Although I guess everyone who's voting with us is voting for Primus. And nobody's voting for a second son right now. 
We had a few disagreements and a few arguments once we arrived on common safe ground. I felt I really enjoyed talking to Ellen Neon. I should remember to thank my friend for introducing me to her. Uh, it's been a long time since I found such an interesting woman. Ah, okay, friends forever. I guess. Um, do we have any truces ending? Doesn't look like it. I just want to see. So we can't declare war on you because we have a truce. You, we have a truce. You, truce. You, truce. Truce. Truce ends. We have some truces to end next year. Yeah, we'll just wait a year then, I guess. We finished our building over here. We can build Molten Bailey now, which increases our fort level. We get we can build it to a port kill us. Sure, why not? We'll, we'll increase our fort level a few times. My prisoner, Captain Cadog of the Disciples of Christ, has complained about his dark cell in the dungeons. Uh, well, we'll let him rot, but, like, can we ransom you? No, because it cost him a lot of gold to ransom. Prisoners, we have a lot of them. I'm just looking at known plots again. Do we have anybody we want? Uh, none of these guys are... Oh, you're king. You're trying to kill the High King of Powys. You're... Unfortunately, you're the king that I don't want to take the land from. I could revoke his title for free. Now, right? No, I would have to imprison him before revoking his title. It's only a 55... Uh, no, sorry, 56% chance. This would give us 116 arrest chance on him. Where is he currently? Should currently be at home, I guess. Yeah. We could take that title from him. Distribute his lands amongst everyone else. Like, destroy the title and distribute the lands amongst everyone else. Assuming we could transfer the vassals, which we should be able to. It, see, it sounds reasonable. It's kind of our best chance. Let's revoke stuff here. What's our arrest chance now? 56. We'll wait a day. Still 56. We failed to capture him. He's raised his flag in rebellion. Oh well. We have people on his land. And we have a lot of people we can bring into this. So. Something like uh, this is going to look pretty good. We actually don't need our full army. We just need like the first line of our army here. Uh, we'll get some from the Pennines. We'll get some from up here. Get some from Gwynedd. Get some from Elmet. Right. That's a 4,000 man army, which we'll just get to merge up here. Okay. That's what we're after. 4,000 man army. Primus, don't lead. Yeah. I want you to be a commander, but I definitely don't want you leading. Why does it say we have no marshal? We quite are currently not on the job. Oh, wait, do I have him leading? No, just, oh, it's because he can't arrest anything. That's fine. Uh, yeah, organize the army. We caught him. Killed his army, 100% war score. Offer peace and force demands. We have imprisoned him. Nice. Now we can disband these troops. And we can, hopefully, revoke his title. Uh, since he's a traitor, nobody will object. Alright, title target cannot be the thing for any ongoing war. I can say to this guy, I would like you to make peace. Will he make peace? While my grievance with the king will remain, I will not dream of refusing such a reasonable request. Nice. Okay. So we now have this guy. We can now revoke his title. So we now have the kingdom. We now wish to destroy the kingdom. Yeah. All the your vassals will be minorly upset. Goodbye, the kingdom. That now means we have a ton of vassals underneath us, right? But yeah, we should have more vassals underneath us who we can now give away. Why do these not count as vassals? Is that because these are tribal? Yeah, I think it's because these are tribal, which means we can give away this guy. We can put him under here. Transfer vassalage. Yeah. We're now at 22. Nice. Can we give these people away as well? That would be ideal. Um, so, like, if I wanted to give this guy some extra vassals, could I do it? 
There are some more chiefs I could give away, actually, yeah. I don't think that counts as, like, one. Let's see. Does it? Doesn't count as one. It must be because they're tribal, tribal. Yeah, okay. Well, that worked out. We, we, we solved the problem. We solved the problem. So, we probably want to do some more wars like that on, like, midi. Uh, oh, we actually have some... We could do subject. Wait, we have subjugation wars again. Maybe you can't do subjugation wars if you're below your vassal limit? Or, or if you're above your vassal limit? Oh, we got a couple of subjugation wars. Ooh, it's so exciting. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.